Hey guys, it's Eli doing another commentary, and this time I'll be doing a commentary on actually the first episode of The Adventures of Mario and Luigi, the Mario Brothers versus Bowser and Rumpel. And, you know, I will say, because um, this is what started The Adventures of Mario and Luigi, you know, with doing episodes and such, and just, yeah, and you guys do seem to enjoy it, so... Of course, with, with the first episode, you know, it has to be the Mario Brothers facing off against Bowser. And, you know, for this one, you know, he's got Mario and Luigi. They got more company, you know, more friends joining them to stop Bowser and, and Rumpel. And as you can see, you have uh, Sonic. Actually, as of now, uh, if you guys can see the tag on Sonic that says Sonic Boom, actually, as of now, it's been cut off, you know. Um, and also with... Uh, Batman Domo, he'll he'll be back later on in the show. And yeah, with the wolf coming up here, yeah, I just I decided to throw him in there because I have the plush of the wolf, and I thought he'd be really f uh, be fun for him to be in there. And yeah, here's the line the wolf says. And yeah, so that's like that's one of his that's his like I think that's like his iconic line, you know. I guess when somebody enters a bedroom and he's in bed, he's just what? You know, <laughs> it's yeah. And the wolf is one of my favorite characters from Shrek from from Shrek. i I just wanna just wanna throw that out. And of course if uh Jack Skellington. Actually, you know, cause um a little bit of you know, cause in, in, a fun fact is though, cause the adventures of Mario and Luigi it's kind of based a little bit off of uh, the cute Mario Brothers, if you guys are familiar with that, and which also explains with uh, Jack Skellington being being in here. And yeah, with Sonic the Hedgehog, he has appeared. I think he has appeared on the cute Mario Brothers before. Um, yeah, I th yeah, pretty much. I think he has. And of course, the villain's introduction. Of course, with with Rumpelstiltskin. Um, Actually, I, I, I think I got that Rumple that Rumple Stiltskin toy. I think I actually did get that around the time when, when Shrek Forever After came out. I think. Um, but with the Bowser voice, like, I because I know he doesn't actually speak in the games. Like, no, he actually did speak one time, and it was in a it was in one Mario game. It was in one Super Mario game, but I I can't remember which one it was. But Bowser Jr. also spoke too. Um, um, but yeah, most of the time with Bowser, he'd just be, well, in most of the Mario games, Bowser's like, you know, ha, 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 ha. but in the show, you know, he, I gave him, uh, dialogue, you know, for him, I gave him, I, I had, you know, he had to speak, so, and I did my best, you know, for the voice of Bowser, I did my best to, um, to still have it sound like Bowser in the games, you know, um, yeah, and the big fight right here is... Um, and, you know, I will say, I do a pretty good impression of Mario and Luigi, you know. I'm good at, you know, doing Mamma Mia, you know, and let us go Yeah, some of my friends, they, yeah, they, um, they have, they think I'm pretty good, too, at doing Mario and Luigi and Mickey Mouse. <laughs> yes, I can, I can do, uh, Mickey Mouse. Yes, I, I can. And, you know, I try my best, and, you know, I've, I've also tried my best to do, uh, you know, the Jack Skellington voice, you know. Of ba with Batman Domo's voice, you know, I just, you know, I had to come up with a voice, and it was the best, it was the best one I can do. Um, yep, and here it is, the big fight. <laughs> I'm just, like, you know, having these, pl I'm having the toys, like, you know, just get close to them, and right there, like, you saw a rumple, just, actually, because I flinged him. To uh, on the neck against the wall. <laughs> yeah, and a little bit of uh, dialogue of the wolf, you know, because yeah, what he's saying is exactly what what happened in Shrek Forever. After he was the wolf was his was the wolf was Rumple's servant. So yeah, and this one right here, this right here with the fidget spinner, I don't know where that came from. You know, you know, if I did like. If I had this before, well, I don't have. If I did have it, like, I would have, um, ha I would have had like a Batman fidget spinner. I would have used that instead, instead of just a regular. I kind of, yeah, I kind of wish I would have. I, I had a Batman fidget. Sp I would, I really, I really wish I had a, a fidget, a Batman fidget spinner. I, you know, that would have been much better and really funny. 
Yeah, and yeah, that right there where Rumpel, where I've got Rumpel in, yeah, that that came with the toy, the Rumpel toy. So, and it also came with like slime. I I don't know. It's probably I I can't remember that much. And of course, the end credit scene with Bowser, which uh, teases that you know a hint that he will come back and have his revenge. And yep, that's pretty much so. What's going to happen? So once again, you know. I'm very proud of the first episode. I'm, I hope you guys had enjoy, enjoyed it when it came out. And yeah, thanks for listening to this commentary.